What SD card should I use on my dash camera? I'm Ben with Safe Drive Solutions, your dash cam specialist. Today, we're going to dive right in to eight different SD cards. We got SanDisk, Lexar, Samsung, Gigastone, Kingston, AGI, and then we're utilizing two dash cam branded SD cards, the OFO and GNED. All of these are in 128 gigabyte size. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you do have questions, feel free to leave comments below. And we're going to dive right into testing all eight of these units for read and write speed and see what they say written on the outside of the package, if they're correct, and whether or not they meet the specs of what you want for your dash camera. So first things first, we are testing micro SD cards. So make sure when shopping around, you get the correct size. If you buy a regular SD card, I hope you have a digital camera to put it in. So what is read speed? Buyer beware. Most companies only post the read speed of their SD cards. What is the read speed, you may ask. Therefore, read speed is how quickly your SD card can read the information on it. Why would this matter? Let's say you have a 4K dash camera with high resolution video footage. When you go to view the footage on your computer, it may not be able to read quick enough. In short, makes it look choppy and not smooth. Furthermore, make sure you have a minimum 100 megabytes a second read speed to get the right SD card for your dash cam. Write speed. While read speed may be easy to get the specs on, write speed tends to be most difficult to find. For instance, most brands on Amazon will not even list their write speed. Buy the wrong one and your dash camera will not even record. Better yet, your recording does not write correctly. So imagine an accident happens and you're depending on the dash cam to prove your innocence. As a result, you go and view the footage to find out it did not write correctly. Please do not get caught buying a cheap SD card. Your system is as good as your weakest link. Most 1080p dash cams will perform fine with an entry level micro SD card. However, using a cheap micro SD card on a 2K or 4K dash camera is equivalent to playing roulette. First things first, the GNET SD card. Write speed of 25.6 megabytes per second and a read speed of 59 megabytes per second. Then we go to the Lexar. This one really surprised me. 79 megabytes per second and a read speed of 89 megabytes per second. Right? Then we go over to the Samsung, which hit a 60 megabytes per second. This one's a great value. And then a read speed of 90 megabytes per second. We then go to the Gigastone, 54 megabytes per second, and a read speed of 90 megabytes per second. As you can see, we're now on to the Kingston, which is 40 megabytes per second, and a read speed is gonna come in at 90 megabytes per second. As you can see, the majority of these are 90 megabytes per second read speed. SanDisk Extreme Pro at 53 megabytes per second write speed. And we're gonna to go to the read speed of 90 megabytes per second again. On to the AGI, it's just a house brand, 44 megabytes per second, and a read speed of 89 megabytes per second, basically 90. And Viofo comes in at 72 megabytes per second and a read speed of 89.9, which is basically 90. So as you can see, we're trending at 90 megabytes. So our top one was the Lexar, followed by Viofo, Samsung Evo Select, Gigastone, Samsung Extreme Pro, AGI, Kingston, and GNET. So now that we've finished the test for write speed and read speed, you've probably seen my prior video of what SD card to buy. And keep in mind, when I made that video, that was about 
nine months ago now, and I didn't know how to actually test an SD card, but I was very, you know, flustered by the fact that nobody was really putting write speed on any of these packages. And so people are always asking me what SD card to buy, and I'm giving out recommendations. And I started realizing that I wasn't really giving out a good recommendation. You know, I was just telling people buy SanDisk because, well, SanDisk is a good name. But I thought, hey, you know what? I need to dig into this more and I need to find a way to do the test. And that's what I came up with today. And when you start looking at everything, like the Lexar, right on the packaging, it says 45 megabytes a second write speed. And it's testing at 79.9. Like, that's pretty amazing. It makes you wonder, are they going to be consistently around that 79.9? Or is 45 megabytes per second is kind of like their their average. Any way you look at it, you know, a lot of the cards did pretty good on the testing. Obviously, the ones with uh, 50 megabytes a second or higher is probably what I would recommend for a 4K dash camera. And the big thing is, all of these are V30 rating. Okay, V30 means, like we said earlier in the video, guarantees 30 megabytes a second write speed. So if you're worried about any of these not being good enough, buy a V60. It's going to cost you more, but by spec, they have to guarantee 60 megabytes a second write speed, which means it's going to be higher spec than all the ones you've seen today. Might even have over 100 megabytes a second write speed. I don't know. I didn't want to go out and buy all those crazy SD cards. But really, at the end of the day, you need to have a good understanding of what you're getting into. If you go buy a cheap SD card and it fails, it's not going to come through for you when you most need it. I also recommend to everybody that you have an extra SD card in your vehicle. That way, if one fails while you're recording or driving your vehicle, you have another one to go because these SD cards have a certain amount of lifespan. They will fail sooner or later and it's better to have a backup just in case. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something new about SD cards for your dash camera today. If you do have any questions, please leave them down below. We'd be happy to answer them for you as well. We'd love to see you like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.